Hey there, welcome to Jersey Jim Fish. Fishmonger Jim here. This is going to be how to fillet a um, weak fish. Right, y'all. Um, Kingfish and Fluke, which is what I caught yesterday. Convenient, huh? That I titled this movie that and actually caught these yesterday. So, first cut is going to be again, well, head to the, to the if you're right handed, head to the right. The, um, Shoulder of the fish should be close to the edge of the board, but the camera's in the way, so we're going to do it this way. And then, first pass is above the the um, the fin there, and down the backbone. If you notice, I'm not using the knife this way. I'm using the knife as uh, parallel to the spine as possible. And the tip of the knife is on the bump that is the backbone as I run back that way. And then the next cut is going to be halfway between the pe uh, pectoral and anal fin or pelvic and anal fin is going to be over that ridge that is the backbone all the cuts have been from this point from the head towards the tail now we're going to turn around this way around the camera and go to the head and that's going to lay the rib bones down and we won't ultimately we won't have to go back and trim them if i did it right and then you just walk the knife out the other side of the fillet it looks like you might have to trim a little bit of it yeah, if you want to see the uh, the movie of where I caught this fish and when I caught it, I'll put a link to that here. Second side is always more difficult. You want to flip the fish over and free up the head, the collar here. Make a cut at the tail, and then you want to arc the backbone of the fish so that it's kind of that way. And typically the uh, the scales are really, I scaled this fish, but the scales are, are generally uh, a lot tougher towards the tail of the fish. If you weren't scaling it, I would recommend starting like somewhere in here on this fin instead of all the way at the back. You get the knife in a lot easier. Again, tip of the knife into the spine, up to the head, free up the head, and uh, up the backbone. And this way, this one here, we can just go right up over the rib bones, cutting through the pin bones, which are kind of soft on a weak fish or sea trout or gray trout. Speckled trout would be about the same. And then down the other side, and this thing's got a lot of uh, that's it, that's the rack. Got pretty much all the meat, just a tiny, tiny bit there. But all the rest, yeah. Second side's always harder. This, uh, this by the way, this uh, swim bladder, uh, boy, uh, nitrogen sack right here. Not these, these are uh, milk. This is a male fish. This is edible. You can uh, cut this into like rings and fry it, get it nice and crispy. It's, it's actually not too bad. It's kind of like taffy. Like I said, I scaled this fish. Uh, if you didn't want to scale it, you could skin it. I'll show you how to skin with the fluke. But if you're going to scale it, uh, you want to have the, the head of the fish towards you and draw the scaler from the tail towards the head. This is the... I didn't use this scaler. I used um, this scaler. It's actually a horse comb. That's what I used as a production fish cutter. So we got some uh, some bones here. Probably wouldn't be an issue the weak fish bones are kind of soft but we're gonna go ahead and trim them out just the same I think mom's gonna be eating one of these fillets that's that pin bones if you run your finger along the center of the fillet here from the front to back you'll feel them. go on the north side and then on the south on the underside of it turn the knife and that chunk of meat will come right out they don't run back too too far on the uh, the weak fish or sea trout. So when you're uh, when you're trimming, I see this on YouTube a lot. Guys just cut straight down this way. If you actually put the knife on the fish and then press down, like do you see that flexion in the knife there? Push down and get that flexion in the knife. You can just trim off the belly lining like that. Like it's a softer fish, so it didn't really work out that well, but you can cut off, you know, you can cut off a, a micron. Well, maybe not a micron, but you can just trim off what you need to and not take 
as much of the meat and I think that's important as I did harvest this fish I want to get as much meat out of it as I, as I possibly can so there's the pin bones as I was cutting the pin bones I noticed this right here I got a I got a collar bone right there probably collar uh, rib bone so that's it that's two sea trout fillets um, skin on where am I gonna put it uh, Hold on a minute. All right, so I guess we'll do the uh, the kingfish next. Kingfish, they call them whiting down south. They're really little fish. You know what I'm gonna? Eat? This is a 1378 Dexter Russell. I'm gonna use the smaller Dexter Russell here for the kingfish. This thing ate a. Uh, I mean, if you watch the movie where I caught these fish, I don't know if I got the footage of it, but. It ate a uh, three inch gulp, three and a half inch gulp. Kind of crazy. Small fish for such a, a big bait. Same thing. I'm doing the same thing. It's, it, the fish are basically the same, except that, you know, when we get to the fluke, a little bit different there. But shoulder of the, you know, shoulder of the fish to the edge of the board, head to the right if you're right handed. other ways to cut them this ain't the only way but this is the way that uh as a production wholesale fish cutter that uh, I, I wasted the, the least amount of time cutting round fish this way and got the highest yield so and the camera doesn't really help with uh with cutting fish but yeah, I don't think we really need to trim anything out of that, but trim some of that belly lining. Man, pin bones? Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut them out. Why not? So you can cut down and then this way. And then your second cut, all you need to do is push down and that chunk of meat will come out like that. Kingfish. So the fluke's a little different. The fluke, uh, firstly, you want to you want to bend the rigger out of it. You want to uh, control the fish, not have the fish control you. So we're gonna start on the white side. Uh, Dexter Russell thirteen seventy eight. First cut's gonna be right up here, around the the collar. And then you're going to take the tip of the knife, and the tip of the knife is going to run right down. I mean, the, the lateral line kind of jumps up here, but you want to run the tip of the knife right down along the top side of the uh, the uh, spine. And aim towards the tail, and then just come out with the knife. And that'll open it up real nice like an envelope. Second cut is going to be from the tail. Yeah, this camera. Tail to the head, and then when you get here... I'm going down on this angle. When I get right about here, I'm going to go, I'm going to decrease that angle kind of drastically as this thing has a lot of stuff in its belly. And then the next cut, yeah, I'm going to have to go around what it has in its belly. So I'm going to kind of outline it here. I don't want to cut into the belly cavity because it's kind of nasty in there. I can't wait to see what's in it. That's actually why I cut this fish last. Normally I could do that with one, you know, one, uh, movement of the knife but yeah, that's a nice fillet didn't miss any meat on it oh, i can't wait to see what's in there there's something really special in there the other side you want to uh cut again around the collar all right draw the knife that way and then when you get it normally the uh the spine and this fin will make like a triangle right here you can see the lat it's hard to see here but the lateral line is right here and this fin will be here. That gives you an arrow of where to, to drop the knife in the tip of the knife. So you get it like this. You hook your finger in the gill and you jam the knife in there. And again, we're on the top side of that spine. Get it in there. 
And then you pull it up towards the tail. Up to one side of the backbone, down the other side. And third, third pass is going to be out the other side. Do it in two because the camera's in my way. Or three. That's that. I missed a little bit. That's your fault because you were in my way. That's it. That's, I mean, that, that's not going to affect the yield too much. If I had a whole box of these, I could show you mid halfway through and I'd be in a rhythm. But I, I'll show you how to skin before I get in there. So to skin, you want to make sure, that's the back of the knife, and make sure there's no, like, scales or, or, you know, sand or anything on your board. And then the dark side, you want to push the, the knife through, meaning the knife goes this way through it, like if you have a whole lot of them to do. Once you get that, that spot, once you get that, get the, the edge of the knife on the membranous material, the connective tissue between the skin and the fillet, once you get it right, the edge dynamics are right, you can really just kind of rock through these things by pushing through the dark side and pulling through the white sides. That's that. That is uh, not boneless. We got the pin bones. That is pin bones. When you make this cut, if you can't make it, if it stops, you need to cut back a little farther. Let's see, I'll check it for belly bones. That looks pretty good. Good, good. Clean the board. White side. If the fluke fillet is much larger than this, and if you're using the 1378, I, I find it does help to cut the ribbon off. That makes really good, excellent um, fluke bait as well. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull through this with the camera there. I'll just right knock you on the ass if I do. It's kind of it. That's kind of the idea. There we go, pull the ribbons off. If you have a whole bunch of the fluke, you keep the ribbons as long as they don't have bones in them. They make excellent fish cakes and they're so high in uh, collagen that you uh, rarely need to use a binder like cornstarch or flour to get it to stick together. It's almost like uh, like jello. Think of like a like a like a fish cake with a binder built into it. That's that. Skinless, boneless fillets. Beautiful fillets. Excellent day fishing yesterday. Now, it's like Christmas for me. I get to open this package up and see what the hell's in there. Something big in there. I was thinking it was a sand eel, but well, it feels a little larger than a sand eel. Whiting? Is that a whiting? These things are the true denizens of the deep. That is a kingfish. Yeah, that's a king. Uh, yeah, that's a kingfish. How about that? That's a, I mean, that's a pretty sizable fish for a uh, bait. There's a crab. There's a, it blows my mind. That's a shrimp right there. These things will take a diet of that something that small a fish this large is going to have some of its uh, caloric intake in these minute food parcels and then occasionally it'll run across something like that and that is awesome that is uh fascinating these things are the true denizens of the deep the fluke i think the only fish that that might rival the fluke in terms of uh number of different species of other fish in its belly as I was a cutter would have been the, the whiting. Whiting are actually really, really, really effective and voracious predators. But yeah, that's about it. That's how to flay a uh, wheat fish, sea trout, gray trout, kingfish, and a fluke. I thank you all for watching.
Y'all have a wonderful day. Go fuck your hat. Bye. Somehow I got spinal man in Injecting all that hairspray in my spine. It's a super cheap way of partying. If you ain't to kill some brain cells in some time. Good luck in that child support check from me now. I am so happy. I am. <laughs> I am. I am so happy right now.